Yeah, it's almost a complete whiteout right now. It's uh, it's 18 degrees outside and a very strong wind. I was going to try to go to Bozeman today to uh, be there for the coloring of a uh, bronze of mine, uh, Cheyenne War Party leader, but uh, it's not a good day to go track driving from here to Bozeman at all. <sighs> well, it is winter. And it's doing what it does in wintertime. It's cold and miserable and snowy. But it's nice and warm in my house. And right now I'm going to get to work on my uh, Viking clay. I won't be uh, actually showing anything being done on the Viking clay today because it's just little tiny things that I'm doing and uh, it wouldn't really show much. I want to share with you a, a device that I got. Uh, in the uh, mail yesterday and it's called Luminade and this is the uh, this is the Packlight Nova uh, with a USB uh, adapter on it and uh, I just got done charging it and let me show you it has a little a button that you press. Let me change hands with my. It's a soft pack that actually can fold up into a little, little small uh, thing that you can stick into a backpack if you're going camping or anything like that. Anyway, it has uh, five lights to uh, indicate when it's fully charged, and right now it's fully charged. But if it isn't fully charged, you just take your. Uh, you had to put the camera down for a second to plug it in, but you plug in the uh, USB port uh, uh, from your computer. I got two of these lights, so I got two cords. Uh, and this lights up and uh, it's charging. And plugged into your computer, it'll charge up in about an hour, maybe two hours um, fully. And if you leave it outside under the sunlight, it'll take uh, all about. Uh, I think it says 10 hours to uh, do it solar, which is a little solar panel right there. But uh, it, this is fully charged now, so I don't need to charge it. So I'm just going to disconnect it, cover up that, and then I'm going to turn the light on. Now, it looks like it's vibrating, but in reality, it isn't uh, vibrating in real life. It's just affected or affecting the uh, camera uh, that uh, I'm shooting on has little lights up there but it's this this bag is designed to actually illuminate the whole damn area and it, it's really nice because this is a dark area and I can see my keyboard and I have been lighting up the uh, keyboard with these lights which uh, are nice, but they take batteries and the batteries burn out in about a half hour. This, if I leave it on bright, will burn for three hours. And if I put it down on the lowest level, which I'm gonna do right now, it, I just lowered the light a little bit, lowered it a little bit more. I think it goes one more, yeah, and it, that's the lowest it goes. At this setting, and it's still bright enough to light up everything, um, it will actually uh, stay on for, I think, up to 24 hours. They got a bigger one. Uh, it's called the Max, and uh, it uh, will uh, burn for, I think, uh, double what this one will. It's also maybe a third bigger, maybe twice as big. But it's, uh, I mean, they're really well priced. I mean, power went off here for six hours about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. And let me tell you, I wish I'd have had this uh, in my house because uh, I could have uh, used it so I could read a book or something while I'm sitting here in the dark. Um, the bigger one, the uh, Max, 
which costs more, of course. Um, at the lowest level, I think, on the light setting, it'll burn for 48 hours, I think. Um, but anyway, our power is off for six hours, and I basically just went back to bed because there wasn't anything for me to do because I couldn't see anything. And, uh, the uh, bigger one has a uh, USB port so you can actually charge up your uh, cell phone off of uh, the light. So this is a handy little device. It's a good emergency uh, product to have. Uh, Luminade. And uh, just do a little search on the web and you'll find it. I just thought I'd throw this in this video just because uh, it's such a great I mean I kept this on all night last night I put it on the lowest setting and it was still uh, ha had it has five uh, little power lights that uh, or is it four it's four power lights and uh, I was down to uh, two power lights by morning and when I got up, and I had it on all evening, so it, it's 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 a great little device if you need an emergency thing. It's uh, wonderful for hanging off of trees if you're out camping, or uh, on a tree, or anything. Uh, working on your engine, you can hang this uh, from the hood of the uh, car and and light up your whole engine compartment. But anyway, uh, just a great little emergency light. Uh, the best one I've seen. I've never seen one that would last as long as this one does. I first saw these on uh, Shark Tank on TV. And I think uh, they somebody bought into it. And boy, I'll tell you, I bet they're making a ton of money now. As you can see, I've uh, put armbands on the Warrior. The Viking Warrior. I uh, still have work to do on his uh, sheath or scabbard for his sword, and uh, I got work to do on the have work to do on the, sh the shoes as well. They were almost like moccasins, uh, really amazing. But anyway, I took the shield off. Because I'm working on that too. And uh, so I'm going to get back to it and uh, just uh, let you know that the uh, clay is almost done. Um, I actually could stop right here and put together a really good video uh, or DVD, instructional DVD on this. But uh, I want to do a few more things on it before I set it aside. I have no plans to do anything with it right now. Uh, but. Uh, I've been using this uh, pasta tool. You get you get at a oh, in the cooking department of Walmart or Kmart or different stores or even you know stores that sell uh, cooking material or supplies. And I picked this one up from a hardware store yesterday. It's uh, a, uh, I, I don't know what they call it, but it, it I guess they use it when they uh, uh, put drywall tape on uh, drywall and they scrape uh, the, and press the uh, tape uh, hard against the uh, drywall so that they can, you know, sand it and whatever they do to blend it into the wall. But it's it's metal, and it has a really nice handle on the end of it, and it didn't really cost all that much. I think it cost uh, well, probably fifteen dollars dollars or or even a little bit more. But anyway, uh, I'm going to use this to uh, cut the clay. This right here, which I've got warming up underneath the uh, light, it comes in a Oh, probably about a two-pound block or five-pound block. I don't know, but it, it's uh, my uh, NSP 
Soft by Chavant. And uh, it's the clay that I use. It's a plastiline style clay. It never hardens. And I got a 100 watt bulb in that lamp. And it's going to soften up the clay. Well, it'll take probably an hour or so to soften up so I can use this tool to uh, cut it into more manageable uh, pieces. This is my landlord's uh, trailer. I guess he owns the uh, property past the fence here. Really a nice guy. I'm uh, enjoying being in this house. Even as windy as it is, I really don't hear the wind. Uh, it's just, I can see it. Uh, it's probably blowing at about uh, oh, 20 or 30 knots. And, uh, or miles per hour, I don't know. I'm sure the, with 18 degrees outside right now, with this strong wind, I'll lay you odds that uh, we're talking well below zero uh, Fahrenheit. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.